where would be the first place that you would go to right now? Right at this very minute, if you had the chance, just to get up and go somewhere, where would you go? I'm torn between a few places. I've been thinking this to myself for a little while. Would I get up and I would, would I go to America? I'd love to go to America, but now I'd love to go to Switzerland or Sweden. I think I'd get up and gather the family up and go somewhere cool. I'd like to go to New York, but that's supposed to be pretty crazy. Don't really fancy that for now. Maybe another day. Might just go to Greenland. Where would you go? Right now. Look at that awesome little piece of land right there. That's what you want. That's like a little piece of land, pretty cool for RC cars. Just, it's like a piece of uh, wasteland. No doubt it probably have houses on it at some point. But that would be a massive shame if they do. But how cool would that be? Nice bit of land. It's starting to rain again now, quite heavily. As I'm just walking along the path. I'm in Kent. I'm in a little place called Swanscombe. Just having a walk around. You know? Seeing what the local area is all about. And to be honest, it's a bit random. It's all full of houses and new build houses and flats. It's a bit strange to tell you the truth. Looks like in the distance there. Hope this camera, hope this microphone's not rattling too much. Looks like in the distance there we've got some more new build flats and houses. Let's go and have a look. Oh yeah, look. new build houses and flats. Like there's a little footpath up here. Where does it go? That's the question. Oh, yeah, look. Looks like it goes down here. What's with all these chicken packets? Should we try and explore it? Oh, we've got look at all these chicken packets, look. look packets of uh, chicken breasts. Loads of them. Someone's lost their t-shirt. Oh, there's, there's wet wipes everywhere. Oh dear. Should we go down here? Wonder where, where this leads. Might get a bit wet. Let's see what's up the other path. Oh look, there's the obligatory trolley thrown in the bush. <laughs> this looks like a nice little path to walk along. Oh look, the kids play area down there. Walk along here and see what we find. So, getting back to where we would go. Oh, just imagine though, forget the current situation with the world being crazy at the moment. I'd like to just, I was talking about it with my brother-in-law. I think the wife's kind of in on it, a bit. Renting like, you call them RVs out there, don't you? Big motorhome, basically. And just driving the Route 66. One end to the other. Don't know how long it takes. Someone watching this must live that way. How long does it take? Drive from one end of the country to the other. A few thousand miles. 
whatever that route is, 66, I ain't got a clue. I just know of it, I don't know much about it. Should we go, we just came up there. Should we carry on and go up there? Or should we turn around and go down there? All those houses, bloody hell. Let's have a look and see what's down here, shall we? I reckon this leads to that little kids play area. Anyway, how cool would that be? Obviously, you can't do it at the moment. Just forget about the situation. I'd also like to just drive through France, Germany, do the whole of like Europe. Mate, I sit there and thinking, you know, just get up and go. How crazy is that? Anyone watching done that? Just randomly just gone. What's it like? So we've just come down there. We can either go along around here or we can go down there. I think we'll do both. Let's see where this leads. People's houses down there. Oh, this is pretty cool. Loads of rubbish, of course, as you would expect. But we're underneath like a canopy of vines. Oh, someone's lost their little green ball. Okay, so we end up at the end of a housing estate. Back this way it is then. You see, the thing is, all these years I've been sort of saving up, you know, with the aspect of one day, not one day, but eventually, saving up enough money, like a lot of money, and just going on some wild and crazy things, traveling the world. When I was a kid, I used to always pester my mum and dad. Let's go to America. No, I'm not going to America. Can we go abroad? No, I'm not going abroad. Because they didn't want to, which is fair enough. Which has led to me always wanting to do it. And I've always thought, save up, keep saving, and we can go. But now this disease has come along, let's put a stop to it. Here we go, look. This is that kids' play area. Huh. Maybe I'll come back another day and have a look around there. But for now, I want to go up that other road, that other path, and see where that goes. I love to explore, man. It's so cool just walking around and seeing what's about. All the way up there. The camera's getting absolutely drenched. But, uh interesting to see where we're going anyway at least hopefully it will survive well I don't know what that last footage was like but bloody um, microphone just fell off and smashed on the floor so hopefully it's still working so it says it's recording audio anyway doesn't look like I can get you know, a, lot, a lot of luck today but there we go it's only the start of the day 6.20 in the morning. By the way, for those of you wondering, I get to work early. Instead of just sitting in the car, just sitting there doing nothing, I like to go for a walk. Yeah, I've not been this way yet. I usually go the other way. But I'd like to go for a walk, half an hour, 
either play with a nitro car or something uh, and go for a walk or just go for a walk you know not only is it good exercise but why not instead of just sitting in the car doing nothing it's not good for you just listen to the rain The trouble is you get a lot of rain on the lens. <laughs> Let's try and see if we can get it off. Is that a pear tree? Does that mouth look like... Is it? It might be. There might be a pear. Good nose. Love those lamp posts. They're made to look old. They're not actually old. <laughs> So yeah, as I was saying probably before when the audio was all rattly because this microphone rattles a lot <laughs> Yeah, I've always, for years, I've just thought keep saving, keep working and eventually we can go on these massive proper nice holidays But then now this disease has come along it's made everything difficult it's kind of put everything into perspective a little bit and uh I suppose as soon as we can, we're going to have to just have some pretty cool holidays. So, it's going to be pretty cool. And I just always think to myself, I've always thought, where can I go right now? But it's just making it even more now. Like, where would I go? The thing is though, you've got to be careful. Has anyone ever watched a uh, channel with a bloke on it called Bald and Bankrupt goes around Russia and India and all those places well it transpires that he got the disease he was travelling around Serbia and all that and he got it and he nearly died he was like ah oh, I won't get it but he did so still got to be careful now gonna have to wait but where would you go man where would I go I'd love to just travel the world. The more I sit and think about it, the more I want to do it. Proper crazy. This is where we came from. I think I'll back down this little road now. All this used to be chalk mines, or chalk quarries, whatever you want to call them. Not anymore though. It's all going to be houses now, unfortunately. 400 homes on this little plot another 400 over there probably it's very silly but what can you say <laughs> don't need houses really in this country another place that I'd, lo I'd love to go to right is Antarctica <laughs> that would be so cool because I know a lot of people were like, oh, it's dying now. It's uh, melting and all that stuff. But I love, I don't like the cold, but I love snuggling up in like warm clothes and things, and I just love snow. It'd be so cool to see Antarctica before it does completely go. <clears throat> Sweden, Holland, Germany. So many places. I'd just love to have just money, no object. Literally, like, I'd get the family and just say, come, let's go. We're travelling the world. Whoever watched the Thornberries, Eliza Thornberry, get, like, a big motorhome and just <whistles> off we go. Have a year. Have a year travelling the world. The more I sit and think about it, trouble is in my job, sometimes you have a bit of downtime and you just have to sit and wait. I sit there thinking, come on, let's go around the world. So cool, man. But, gonna have to wait now. If I had endless money, money no object, I'd just buy a plane. <laughs> Ain't gonna matter about no disease then, really. Well, obviously, when you get to the destinations, but, have everything our own. 
not sharing anything with any public our own plane our own car driving around the countries not meeting any public I'd love to meet the public in different countries that's the reason why you go to another country is to meet the people there and have a look at their culture and try their things but you know if there's a disease that you've got to try and steer clear of you can't always do that can you so I keep looking in the screen by the way because I want to make sure that my microphone's capturing audio it tells me if it's working after I drop my mic so I keep looking in the screen sorry about that but I just want to make sure it's recording audio but yeah anyway you lot I'll catch you another day or in a bit don't know yet not quite sure what the day's going to bring yet a bit of rain probably but think to yourself where would you go right now and put it in the comments and if you live in a random country well not a random country if you live in America or where the route 66 is or somewhere or in a nice country put it in the comments where do you live so cool look at this big abandoned building I've got to get in there one day sorry about the rain on the lens my camera's drenched probably not going to work after this but I was really in the mood for just walking along in the rain eh? I'll catch you on the next one you lot don't forget to let me know where you'd, where you'd go right now when you're watching this video I've asked you that question where would you go? money no object go Catch you in the next one, dudes.